all right so we come to the next problem and it says uh, an algorithm to find the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence of numbers in an array is given below okay so we are given an array and we have to find the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence and li this is li denote the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence starting at index i in the array okay so so suppose this is your array all right uh, okay this is your array uh, just it got dirty from here a little bit okay uh, my drawing is harder to okay so this is your array and like this so on up till the last element and what is li so suppose this is the ith index out here and there is some element here so this li it denotes the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence starting at this index i all right so so suppose you started this index you have to find the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence so what do you what do we mean by these increasing sequences okay and what do we mean by like find the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence let's first look at this one because we can keep on reading it's quite uh, big so suppose you have some sequence like this okay two and uh, one five seven and then you have four and eight okay and suppose this is a sequence and you can say you have stored this in an array okay so this is some array you have stored it in this array okay so so out, out here what do I mean by li okay or l4 let's say what do I mean by l4 so what are the indices out here this is 0 this is 1 uh, maybe I should use some other color for indices maybe so this is suppose 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so what is L4 so this is 4 out here so what does L4 means L4 is the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence starting at index i so if I start here and what is the longest length I can get for an monotonically increasing sequence so I have 4 the next is 8 okay so 8 is greater than 4 so what I can definitely do is I can say that okay yeah this is a monotonically increasing sequence from 4 to 8 and I have to tell my tell for L4 which is 4 so yeah L4 is 2 that's what I can say okay what about this L3 L3 starts out here and if I go from L3 to the next so it doesn't increase l3 is seven, uh, this in uh, the element at 3 is 7 element at 4 is 4 so if i have to give the longest monotonically increasing sequence it's only this one okay i cannot include this so it's just one so that's the idea okay what is l4 and what is l3 and what is li in general and what you have to do you have to give the longest in this sequence so without going into the algorithm you can see that this thing okay one five seven this is the longest sequence and the length is three one five seven and then it, it decreases okay and this is just two four eight so this is just the idea that what you are trying to do what is your aim what you are trying to find in this case okay so then we come back to the question and then what it says is that initialize l n minus one as one so what is l min l minus one is this last one this is the n minus 1 index and what they are saying is that initialize this value to 1 so which is okay because so this is your last index so there is nothing after this so this is the longest monotonically sequence uh, monotonically increasing sequence of length 1 which is fine so that's what they are trying to do out here and then what they are saying is that this li okay so this is li out here i've written it out here this upper one is li is equal to one plus li plus one if ai is so this is strictly less than ai plus one so <coughs> so what they are trying to do is i'll again explain it with the same example out here okay so so out here what i know is that this my 
length of this 5 l5 is what l5 is 1 because this is the only element i can include and then they are talking about li in terms of li plus 1 so what can i say about l4 so if i have to give the length of l4 what they are saying is that check if this element in this if l4 okay ai is less than ai plus 1 if this element is less than the next element so if it is less, less than the next element then you just need to do one thing you have to do 1 plus the next the length of the next uh, the length starting at the next element this is 2 so 4 and 8 is 2 that's what this thing is okay li is 1 plus li plus 1 and otherwise it is 1 okay if uh, uh, like in this case okay if you if you look at this one L1. What is L1? Out here, if I look at the length of the sequence, this will be 1, 2, 3. But what will be L0? Okay, is this element less than this element? No. Okay, so AI is not less than AI plus 1 out here. So the L0 will be just 1 because I cannot say that my sequence, okay, the longest monotonically increasing sequence from here will go all the way to here. No, it will just stop here because this 2 is less than 1 that's the idea of this thing okay and then this way what this guy is saying calculate all of these find l so start at ln minus 1 start here and then keep on finding all of these keep on finding all the allies for different values of these indices and then the length of the longest monotonically increasing sequence is the maximum of all these sequences and then we have to say which of the following is true that's what we have to answer it's a, it's a long question and that's what we understand from this question that this is what is going on then they are saying that which of these is true so whether this algorithm uses a dynamic programming approach whether it uses a branch and bound approach or whether it uses the divide and conquer approach and then it becomes quite simple okay so what do you do in divide and conquer in divide and conquer you take your input you divide it into two parts you apply recursion on those two parts and when you get the solutions of those two parts you combine them so you are definitely not doing this thing out here okay it's definitely not divide and conquer you have recursion out here but it's not the case that you have two you are splitting it into two parts you are not splitting your array in two parts okay so it's not divide and conquer but you do use recursion okay so what else branch and bound in in branch and bound what you do is suppose you have suppose these are the possible solutions okay suppose this is the set of possible solutions and what you do in branch and bound is you you bound your solution to something smaller like this okay and you throw out all these things outside you say that these are all useless uh, possibilities the real possibilities are out here and then you do enumeration then you look for one by one since you have decreased the size okay so it's better than brute force that's that's branch and bound and that's not what you are doing out here so this leaves you with only one answer that you are actually in trying to implement dynamic programming out here okay that's what you are trying to do because that's only left and you can see why you are implementing that because in in dynamic programming if you if you recall there are two important things okay one is called the optimal uh, optimal substructure that is that is one thing and then then you have another thing which is called overlapping sub problem so optimal substructure is one thing and overlapping sub problems is another thing so what is optimal substructure is that uh, if you try to find the solution of your problem and you're looking for the optimal solution it will contain the optimal solutions to the sub problems that the smaller problems that you will get from your from your input and overlapping sub problems means solution of one sub problem overlaps with the solutions of other pro sub problems and it is true out here right because if you want to find the length of this complete okay what you need if you want to find the length that is max of all these things you have to find them individually okay and then you know that finding the optimal length of all of these in includes finding the lengths for l0 l1 and so on and finding the length of let's say l4 
includes finding the length for L5. Okay, finding the length for L1 includes finding the length for uh, optimal length for L0. And you see that these uh, these there is sub uh, overlapping. Okay, and what you do, you don't you don't do this thing again and again. You store these values. Okay, you have you know what is your L0, L5, and you keep it stored so that you can use it out here in L4. Okay, and that's dynamic programming.